Hey, what's up? It's Alt 98.7. I'm Trey, joined in the Alt 98.7 penthouse by Alt J. Hello. How are you guys today? Good. Good. Right? You guys excited to perform on the penthouse? Very excited, yeah. You guys did a sound check. I heard a couple of the songs already. And this will be my first time seeing you guys live. It's not stripped down tonight, it's full. You guys are going everything. all full board. Full drums, keyboards, guitars. It's going to get sweaty. Stadium rock. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Good. And you guys are doing, let me just mention this, you guys are doing a good show. Yeah. At the Greek, mm -hmm. and that's also going to be a full show. Yeah, October twentieth. Yes, right? I Greek believe theater. so. Yeah, and uh, this is you guys took a little break. This is your first tour back since your last album, mm -hmm. right? Which yeah. came out yeah. what, two years, three years. Came ago? out uh, twenty twelve, September twenty twelve. Yeah, so, so two years ago. Yeah. Two almost two years ago to the yeah. day. Yeah, you guys are yeah. putting out another album. Yeah, your new album the is out on the twenty second. This is all yours. Yep. Yeah. Now, you, even though you took a two-year break, I think I heard more about you guys during the break because of all the commercial syncs. Yeah. Well, it wasn't exactly a two-year break. We were sort of on tour, I suppose. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe like a six-month break. Yeah, yeah. Something That's right. like that. But um, yeah, we, we had, yeah. Did we have a lot of commercial syncs? Yes, you did. You had, well, you were also in a couple of films. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You had oh, yeah. the Nokia commercial, which I saw the one, yeah. every 25 yeah. minutes. See, I never actually saw that once. You, not no, once. It must not have been played a lot in Europe. Did you ever see it? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, right, I saw yeah, it. I saw it, yeah. I mean, I watch a couple of times. TV. I saw yeah. it over Christmas, I think, when we finished. Right, yeah. Yeah. Now for you, like, you're just sitting on the couch, drinking eggnog around Christmas time, and then, boom, your song comes on in a commercial. Are you, like, are you thrown off by it? Or are you, do you uh, get excited? Like, Yeah, I get excited, yeah. Um, I mean, it happens now and again. Actually, yeah. like uh, you know, the more tracks you have out there, you know, inevitably the more likely you are to hear it. So, but it's always it depends on the context you're in. Yeah. If I'm at home, it is kind of weird because it's you just you really don't expect it. But if you're out, you know, sometimes you hear it at the bar or things like that. That's mm -hmm. kind of like whatever. Yeah, because when you're at home, like that's a very private time. Like you're relaxing, and you're not thinking necessarily about work or about about yeah. the music, and then yeah, you're quickly reminded of this piece of work that you put out. It happens a lot on yeah. British TV because you don't have to even get permission to use music, someone's music on British TV like for a program. So if there's like a documentary on about something, they can just put in it. Just throw it in your it. songs, yeah. So I was watching a show about restaurants and there's about eight of our songs in this show. It was really good. Yeah. I, I mean, you would hope that, that they would take care of you. Do they even put your name? Um, or do they just steal your There's work? probably, you know, you can probably write to some sort of office and get like a list of it, you know, six weeks later. But, and maybe a check yeah. for like 50 cents. Probably something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, was the, uh, how was the last tour? It was great. It was, it was long. Um, you know, we lost a member. I think it took its toll on him. But, you know, we all survived. So. Now, you guys stayed friends. Like, it's not yeah, like a, yeah, a nasty breakup. No, 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 no. You know, it's... Um, it's amicable, you know, he just wasn't up with the, for, the, for the lifestyle of it, so. Oh, really? So what is he, do you know, like, what he's going to be focusing on? Is he going to produce, is he going to write, maybe join he's, another band? Uh, he's going to do uh, a master's degree in um, geography. So much smarter than us. <laughs> yeah. We're he was always smarter than us, that was, yeah, that was a problem. In geography, though? Yeah, yeah. What do you do with a master's in geography? Teach? Um, I think he wants to make art based around geography. Yeah. Next level. He, yeah, yeah, he is really I, operating on different planes. I can't even think of a follow-up question to your former bandmate who's getting <laughs> masters in geography. Yeah. Um, so what else is going on? The album's coming out. You guys are streaming it on a special app. Explain mm. that to me. Like, yeah. Um, so it's like a sort of cool thing. It's called Blast, and you go to. Um, we sort of pick a load of geographical locations, and then you can go to one of these locations, and if you're there. You can stream our album. So if we just think there's a really beautiful, you know, view of some cliffs, we can put the album there, and you can go and stand on the cliffs and look at the view and listen to the album. It's sort of like a way of immersing people in, in our music. In a, in a so like, way. had you guys picked like, let's say, the Hollywood Tower, like I'd yeah. be able to open the app. Yeah. But if I was to go ten blocks away, exactly, I wouldn't be able to. Precisely. Yeah. But you can set, you know, radiuses. You can make it even like just this room, probably, or just you can make it whole of, you know, uh, LA. Now, why? What made you come up with this idea? Did somebody approach you? Did you guys? Um, somebody approached us, I think. But you know, I think we've always liked the idea of people listening to our music in, in particular places, and it's also sort of based on this um, 
in London there's a bench, like an Ian Dury bench, where you can go and it's like a sort of MP3 player, as I understand it, in the arm of the bench, and you can plug in your headphones, and it was his favourite view of London. You can listen yeah, to Ian Dury. Yeah. So we've sort of taken that, we've stolen that idea, and ripped it off. We've ripped it off, and we've like made British it much, television. much bigger. Yeah. And you're just ripping things off. Well, yeah, <laughs> maybe American television, <laughs> but in the most polite way. Is what <laughs> yeah. Um, one last question: <clears throat> How do you keep your mustache looking so, so good? Uh, um, like it's well yeah, trimmed. It's pretty well trimmed. I was looking at it a minute ago and thinking it was a little bit uneven, but I use a, I use a Babyliss for men mustache <laughs> trimmer. Good, noted. Yeah. noted. Uh, this is all Jay with one fantastic mustache. I'm Trey, all 987 Penthouse.